Hello, I'm Jennifer from the St. Louis County Library. Welcome to Advanced Libby. This series of videos will show you how to use some of the more advanced features of the Libby app to enjoy ebooks, audiobooks, and magazines. This video will focus on using tags. To see the full playlist of Advanced Libby videos, click on the link in the description. If you see books that you would like to remember later, you can save them to a list by tagging them. You can have multiple different tags that you can name however you want. Tags also sync across multiple libraries, so when you tag an item at one library, it is automatically tagged at your other libraries. To tag something, tap the word tag next to the picture of the cover, and then tap the name of the list that you would like to add it to. You can choose from one of your existing lists, or you can tap at the top where it says create new tag to create a new tag. When you name your tag, you can choose from one of their suggestions, or you can tap in this box where it says name of tag to type whatever you would like. So I'm gonna call this one book club, and then I'm gonna scroll down and tap create. The name of the tag replaces the word tag on your screen. If you would like to add multiple titles to the same tag very quickly, you can use the quick tagging feature. So I'm gonna tap the word tag, I'm gonna tap on my book club tag, and then if I scroll all the way to the bottom, there's this feature called quick tagging. I'm gonna tap that switch to turn it on. And then I'm gonna tap the down arrow to minimize this screen. So you can see I've applied the book club tag to this book, but now if I tap tag over here, it automatically just applies the book club tag because I have the quick tagging feature turned on. If I scroll down, I can tap tag, tag, tag. That tag was chosen because I have the quick tagging feature turned on. To turn the quick tagging feature off, tap on one of your tags, scroll to the bottom, and tap the quick tagging switch to turn it off. So the next time I press the tag button, it will go back to asking me which tag I would like to apply it to. There are also some smart tags in Libby which have additional features. Any titles that you borrow are automatically tagged as borrowed and remain on your borrowed smart tag even after they've been returned. This allows you to easily see which titles you have previously borrowed. So this title I've never borrowed before, but I have borrowed this one and this one. Anytime you tap read sample, or play sample, that title is automatically tagged as sampled, which appears as a picture of a cake icon. You can manually add a notify me tag to books and audiobooks. If you wish to be notified when new titles in a particular book series are added to Libby, tag a title from that series. If you wish to be notified when a particular author has a new title added in Libby, tag any title by that author. I am going to add this title to my Notify Me tag. So I'm going to tap Tag, and then I'm going to tap on Smart Tag Notify Me, and then tap the little down arrow to collapse this menu. The Notify Me Smart Tag looks like a picture of a mailbox. 
Because this title by David Baldacci is part of a series, I will be notified when any new David Baldacci title is added to Libby, and I will be notified when a new title in this series has been added to Libby. Make sure that the Notify Me series and Notify Me author notifications are turned on in your settings. For magazines, instead of seeing a tag button, you will see a button that says subscribe. If you subscribe to a magazine in Libby, you will receive a notification when new issues are released and those new issues will automatically be added to the magazine rack on your shelf. To subscribe to a magazine, tap Subscribe, and then tap Smart Tag Notify Me. If you decide later that you no longer wish to receive notifications about new issues, you can tap Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe, and done. Make sure that the Notify Me series notification is turned on in your settings. The Deep Search feature enables you to search all of your libraries at the same time as well as discover and add Notify Me tags to titles that are not yet in your library's digital collections. If you initiate a search that has zero search results, a deep search will happen automatically. I'm going to search for looking for Harper Lee. None of my libraries currently own this title, and I can tell because the deep search filter has been applied automatically. Also, next to the cover, it does not say borrow or place hold. Instead, it says notify me, which means this title is in Libby, but it has not been purchased by any of my libraries. If you would like to be notified if one of your libraries purchases this title, tap notify me, and then tap smart tag notify me. The notify me tag appears like a picture of a mailbox. Now you will be notified if any of your libraries purchase this title. Tagging a title with Notify Me doesn't guarantee that a library will acquire it, but Libby shares your interest with your libraries, and if they add the title to the collection, Libby will notify you. If you initiate a search with 1 through 99 results, you can manually apply a deep search if you want to see additional results from your other libraries or titles that none of your libraries currently own. I'm going to search for Harper Lee. This time, 16 books and 5 audiobooks appeared in my search results but I can manually apply a deep search if I want to see what other titles are in Libby. So I'm going to tap the filter button, scroll down, and tap deep search. It is incredibly common when you apply a deep search for some of those titles to be in other languages, so you may want to add a language filter at this point as well. So I'm going to scroll down and tap English. Now I need to tap on the green Show Titles button in the top right corner to apply both of those filters. This title is the graphic novel version of To Kill a Mockingbird. The St. Louis County Library does not currently own this title, so it did not previously appear in my search results but I can see now that it is available to borrow from St. Charles, so applying a deep search can be a great alternative to having to search multiple libraries for a particular title. If none of your libraries has a title that you're interested in, tap the Notify Me button to apply your Notify Me tag. Then you will be notified if any of your libraries acquire that title.
Make sure that the Notify Me title notification is turned on in your settings. You can have multiple tags on the same item if you wish. To add additional tags, tap the name or icon that represent the current tag, and then tap whichever tags you would like to add. A check mark will appear next to any of the tags that have been successfully added. Then tap the down arrow to minimize that screen. You can also use these steps to remove a tag. To remove a tag, tap the name of the tag, then tap the check mark next to the name of the tag that you want to remove it from. You will see the check mark disappears. When you're finished, tap the down arrow up at the top to minimize that screen. And as you can see, both of my tags have been removed. To view your tags, tap the shelf icon at the bottom of the screen, then tap Tags, and then tap the name of the tag that you would like to view. You will be able to tell whether your titles are available to borrow by looking at the icons on the right side of the screen. If you see a calendar icon, that means you will need to place a hold on the title. If you see the plus icon, that means that title is available to borrow now. Just like when you browse or search, Libby will show you the most desirable option. So if one of your libraries has the title available, but it is not available at your other libraries, it will default to borrowing it from the available library. If the title has a waiting list at all of your libraries, it will default to the library that has the shortest waiting list. You can see the status of the title at all of your libraries by tapping on the icon. So this title has a four-week wait at St. Louis County Library, an eight-week wait at St. Charles, and there are no copies at St. Louis Public Library. Tap the down arrow to minimize that. There are also filters at the top of the screen, so you can filter by type of material or whether items are available now. Just tap the name of the filter to apply it. Thank you for watching. There is a link to the entire Advanced Libby playlist in the description, as well as a link to upcoming technology programs at the St. Louis County Library. Thank you for supporting the library. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.